this discussion, we will have an illustrative example wherein we solve the reactions of a body in equilibrium. Okay, so we have here a truss with supports at A and B. So we are required to solve for the reactions at support A and B. So we have point loads at C which is inclined with these side slopes of 3 horizontal to 4 vertical. And we also have a point load at joint E, which is 10 kN downwards. Now, in order for us to solve for the reactions, what we need to do is first, we will create a free body diagram for our structure. So, take note that at support A, since this is a pin support, this can have reactions in both X and Y direction. So, we have here EX and we have here EY. And for support B, since this is a roller support, this can only have reaction in the Y direction. Now, notice that we also have an inclined load at point C. So, in order for us to easily solve the problem, we need to resolve this 10 kN force into its X and Y components. So, we have we have 10 times 4 over 5 is equal to 8 kN. Okay? So, that is why we have this Y component and our 10 times the component, the horizontal component is 3 over 5. So that is why we have 6 kilonewtons, this force here. Now, what we will do next after resolving this 10 kN force into X and Y components, we can now have summation of moment about point A equals to 0. And by the way, the reason behind why we sum moment about point A is that when we sum moment about point A, we will only have one anon, which is, which is the reaction at BY. So, that's the reason why we sum moment about point A. Because if you are going to sum moment about point B, then you have two unknowns. Then, it will be harder for you to solve for the reactions. So, that is why we sum moment about point A simply because we only have one unknown if we sum moment about point A. Now, so, we take the clockwise direction as positive when we sum moment about point A. So, we have 8, this force here. Oops. Okay. So, we have 8 times the distance is 3. So that is why 8 times 3. And we first take all the vertical components. Then 10 
times 3, the distance is 3 from point A. And this component here, the 6 kN force, acts counterclockwise. That is why that we have here a sign negative. So this is negative 6 times 4. Okay? And the distance from of result of by from point a is six we have three plus three equals to six so that is why we have six times by equal to zero so when we solve for by we have by equals to positive five kilonewton and of course the direction is upwards Okay, so we have now solved for our By, which is 5 kilonewtons. Next thing we do is we will use this equation, summer, summ summation of forces along X, and we take the positive in this direction, going to the right. So we have EX minus minus 6 kilonewtons because this, uh, these are the only horizontal forces that we can sum along the x direction so we have the answer for ex is positive 6 kilonewtons which is acting rightwards okay so we have here 6 kilonewtons okay next we already have reactions for EX and what is lacking is only EY. If we will sum forces along the Y direction, we have our EY which is acting upwards plus 5 kN force minus because this is acting done wide 8 kilonewtons and minus 10 kilonewtons because this again acting out downwards which is equal to 0 and when we solve for our EY EY is positive 13 kilonewtons which means that it is acting upwards so this is 13 kilonewtons acting upward Okay, so we have now the summary of our reactions. So, it would be easy for us, no, such that we will be able to summarize our answer in a very simple manner. We will have these values here. EX is 6 kilonewtons, EY is 13 kilonewtons, and BY is 5 kilonewtons. So I hope you learn how to solve four reactions of a body in equilibrium. That's all and thank you.